before we talk about the Elimination Chamber, we've got to make mention of SmackDown. I had asked you earlier in the week, I don't know if it was on the air or not when I asked you, but what are they gonna, how can they do SmackDown on Friday and anybody be in Australia, you know, three hours later or whatever? And uh, apparently they taped this program. I don't know where they taped it or when. Did they tape it with their last SmackDown a week ago? Have they kept this under? There wasn't much to write home about on this show. There's so much scandalous stuff happening in wrestling now that there are no spoilers. Somehow they had a TV taping and no one said anything. Yeah. I just... <laughs> in a packed house. No one said anything. You couldn't really tell by what they, uh, they didn't say where they were. So I think they were, I think they taped this after the last week's SmackDown. But nothing really happened of note, so nobody talked about it. But there are a couple things I want to make mention of. I mean, we got Liv against Trif T Triffany. A Liv against Tiffany. And um, there was a video of Ashante Adonis and his partner. What's, what's his name? I can't remember his partner's name. Trick? No, that's uh, he's partners with Carmelo, but they're on the outs. No, Carmelo. Well, anyway, wait, Ashante and the other guy were in with with Flop Dollar, weren't they? No, Flop Dollar was the other guy. Well, then, all right. Well, one of these fucking it was characters. Ashante, Flop Dollar, Beefab, and Swerve. Oh, and then he swerved. He swerves right. him, and he yeah, <laughs> he, went to he swerves when he drives. Well, uh, Ashante's got a new partner, and they had a video of them trying on clothing. Is that Carmelo I, Hayes, the new partner? I don't know. Are they going to feud with the other fashionable males in the company? I don't know. But anyway, they had that, and they had some pre-taped stuff at the back with Jimmy and Roman and. You know, Paulie uh, uh, telling Grayson Waller to do something, dramatic foreshadowing for the pay-per-view. But did you see the Braun Breaker match? That was the only thing on the entire episode I actually really liked. That's one of the only things on the episode I want to talk about. He's the new Brock Lesnar with none of the problems. He's 20 years younger, and they don't have to worry about the lawsuits or whatever is going to be coming out in whatever fucking Pissgate. statement in Pissgate. Uh, it, it, he has got the same qualities. He obviously is not going to bother to or take the time to or go through and uh, compete and win the UFC title, but he's got the same kind of aggression and intensity that Brock has and the power and the speed and or that Brock had you know 20 years ago and he's a more natural worker I had Brock at this stage that Braun Breaker's at or shortly before it and Braun's been leaps and bounds ahead of what Brock was as far as a pro wrestling performer since we first saw him but yeah he's got every tool and they say and I believe it he runs the ropes at 23 miles an hour. And he's he's got 20... He hasn't got 20 feet because the, the ring is 20 feet from edge of apron to edge of apron. So inside the ropes, he's got 18 feet to get 23 miles an hour. The fuck? But anyway, um, he hit the Dante Chin, whoever, nobody, makes no difference. It was a squash match, and it was flawless, and it's to build up a star. And back the Brinks truck up to Braun Breaker's house because he'll be the WWE Universal or World or whatever champion, barring injury, in, uh, I don't think it might not take him three years. Should and... He should he Ooh, be the ahead. one to dethrone? I was going to say, I was about to say Walter. Should he be the one to dethrone <laughs> Gunther? Um, you know, that might not be a bad idea. And it shouldn't happen real anytime real quick. Just let Gunther keep doing what Gunther's doing and give Braun Breaker now six months or however many months, maybe a year on the main roster, maybe by next year's WrestleMania. That would be very interesting. There's no reason to hurry anything here, but just have him keep doing what he's fucking doing and talking like he talks. And of course, the Wrestling Observer newsletter readers would rather see Will Ostrich, but Braun Breaker is a 
multi multi million dollar fucking talent and is going to be again barring injury for however many years he wants to be probably until he makes much money he just says fuck it and quits is uh, i don't know how else to explain it but otherwise than that on this program oh i've got to mention in the back, they had the Mexican heel group jump and beat up the Mexican babyface group and hold them down while Escobar talked mean to them. And the referees were running... The cameraman's right in their face while felonious assault is going on and the referees are waving their hands in the air. Oh, don't do that. But then we got to the tag team match with J.D. Funko and Dominic Mysterio against Tyler Bate and Pete Dunne. And more on Bate and Pete when we talk about the elimination chamber, but that's, this is one of the times again, Stace and Harley had come and sit down from going out to take a pee, Harley, not Stacy. And they sit down while I'm writing things, making these notes. And, and I said, look at the state of tag team wrestling. I said, those two guys are going for the tag team title on the pay-per-view this weekend. She said, J Dominic and the other guy I said, no, the other two guys. And I wrote down her comments when she looked at Tyler Bate and Pete Dunne. What the fuck is this? Are they kidding? These aren't just job guys. They're signed. That one guy looks like a midget with Dennis Condry's head. It, it, it looks like he just rolled out of bed. The one guy looks like he's wearing underoos. They're the babyface challengers to the tag team title and i'll get more into their unseemly look and ridiculous level of push on the pay-per-view but what the fuck has gone on we've gone from the heart foundation and the rockers and the fucking british bulldogs or the rock and roll express and the midnight express and tully and arn and demolition and the Steiner brothers and the road warriors to fucking Tyler Bate and Pete Butch Dunn. And Dude, don't just, forget Doom. And Doom. The team of Doom. The team of Doom. And the Legion of Doom. They were even they were even bigger than a team, they were a Legion. What about and Ollie and Gene? Well, I mean, we could talk Bockwinkle and Stevens. I'm just, I was making a point, but I'm done now. <laughs> I just want to yell tag team names. It would be just, more fun. Yes. We just <laughs> Street Profits and the AOP. Ooh. That was the next match. Yeah. And then Damage Control jumped Dakota Kai in the locker room and hurt her ankle, and Bailey was upset about it. And then L.A. Knight had a match with Drew McIntyre. That was the main event with Logan Paul on color. And there wasn't anything wrong with it. Two pros here. They kept it moving. The shit looked good. They had a nice TV match. And finally, as L.A. Knight made his big comeback and they went back and forth, they go to the floor in front of the desk and Drew runs L.A. Knight into fucking... Kevin Owens, who's come out also, by the way, to do sit at the desk. And Owens then got on Drew and just the referee rang the bell. DQ, boom. So they had a big four-way, and then Lashley came in, and then everybody had a fight, and Drew was the last man standing, and they were playing the music, and then Orton came in out of nowhere with the RKO. So they just had a match until it was time to not have a match, and then they rang the bell, and then everybody hit a big move on everybody. That was the name of that tune. What well, an exciting episode of SmackDown, a taped episode. I want to say I saw the Fast Nationals, and I'm trying to find them. I can't find them, but it was another episode a, that... A taped episode of... It was held together with Scotch tape, but people are watching it because they're interested in something there. Well, that was SmackDown. That was the quickest we've ever gotten through SmackDown. Oh, nine minutes. To get through well, SmackDown there. There you go. But don't worry. We're <laughs> about to slow down. <laughs>